Good day and welcome to the Math Salon. My name is Dr. Numendium Dixon and today we'll be looking at the differentiation but this time in relation to the, a curve given in parametric form. So the question actually says the parametric equation of a curve is given by x is equal to e to the t sine t and y is equal to e to the t cos t. Find the gradient of the curve when t is equal to pi on 2. Gradient here is interpreted as differentiation. We already looked at one the last time. So here, we are given the equation of the curve in parametric form. X here is given in terms of t, y is given in terms of t. Normally our gradient will be dy dx. The derivative will be dy dx. But that is not obvious given that our x and y are separated by a third variable t. So what we will try to do is we will try to play around to make sure that t comes into it but making sure that the mathematics we use is valid. Mathematics is beautiful, I always say, so you can make it really look nice. Even just by putting color on your hair, you can look different. So we will do that as well. So let's say that my dy, the x can be written as dy, the x multiplied by one. Yeah, if I multiply a number by one, it doesn't change. So in this case, I would make a nice version of the one. I will choose my one to be dt on dt. That means if this equation is given tomorrow in terms of e to the theta sine theta and y is equal to e to the theta cos theta, then you should use here d theta divided by d theta. It doesn't matter whatever variable is given there. But I can also write this in a nice form. Since my y is in terms of t, I would like to swap the position so that I can differentiate my y with respect to t. In this case, I have dy here dt times dt dx. This one is done, but this, my function here, x, x is given in terms of t, not t in terms of x. Of course, I could also still make t the subject of this formula and then try to differentiate t with respect to x, but that's more complicated. We will go the easy way, which is simply trying to play around with our formula. I can actually invert this to become dx dt, but then I have to divide. That means this will now be dy dt divided by dx dt. So what I'm left to do is get the gradient of y with respect to t, get that of x with respect to t, and just substitute here. So that's what we will do. Our x is given as e to the t sine t, so it means we can apply the chain rule. Some of us surely still remember your chain rule if you're differentiating yeah, two, a product of two functions u and v, with respect to t, if u and v are functions of t, then we know that this is simply equal to u dv dt plus v du dt, where these two are functions of t. So then that's fine. We would apply the same thing here. So here I have two functions here, e to the t and sine t. So to differentiate what I do is I first hold sine t and differentiate e to the t. The derivative of e to the t is e to the t. So that one is done. Then I hold e to the t, e to the t here constant and differentiate sine t, and that is cos t. This is done. My y is given as e to the t cos t. So I will do a similar thing. I will hold the cos part and I differentiate e to the t. So and it's e to the t as before. So e to the t cos t. Then I hold e to the t and I differentiate cos t, and that is minus sine t. I'm left just to substitute here. So I have dy dt divided by dx dt. My dy dt is given here. So I put it on top, on the numerator. And then this, I put it on the denominator. I notice that e to the t, e to the t is, a, yeah, is present in the two terms, so I can factorize it. The same thing in my denominator. If I do that, I get this, and I can leave them, as I can eliminate them. And I'm left with cos t minus sine t on sine t plus cos t. But we are told that this derivative should be done at the point t is equal to um, pi on 2. So t is equal to pi on 2. At that point, I can substitute pi on 2 into the positions of the angles. That means cos of pi on 2, that's 90 degrees. Cos of 90 degrees is 0. Sine of 90 degrees is 1. These are complementary. So I have 0 minus 1. And below, I have 1 here and 0 as well. And this is 1 plus 0. This is minus 1 divided by 1, and that's minus 1. Thank you.